Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you YNUB budget app review and tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering if YNUB is actually right for you. So how do you use the app itself? So in this case, uh, what is YNUB first? So YNUB is actually an app that you could use for budgeting. So maybe if you have a goal, like for example, saving up for a, a specific um, specific type of vacation or you're saving up for a car. Well, in this case, YNUB here can actually help you on your budgeting needs. So first, what is YNUB here? So YNUB actually stands for you need a budget, which is something um, uh, actually uh, straightforward. So yeah. So in this case, uh, if you're wondering if YNUB here is actually free, so in this case, uh, YNUB is actually a paid service, which in this case, when you go to the pricing uh, section here, you'll be able to see the current pricing it for, in this, in this case, it's going to be 8.25 monthly. But you could use the uh, monthly or the yearly subscription here, which is around $99, which is paid and bully. So yeah. So the great thing about YNUB here is you could actually uh, use their services uh, for free. So you actually have a free trial that you could use on your account here. So in this case, you could just click on the start free or free trial here, or just click on the button to see that says a uh, free trial. Also, you need to go to our official website, which is going to be you need a budget.com. So it's, it will also customize your uh, specific needs here, depending on where you're currently located. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on start your free trial here. And from here, you have the option to create your account. So in this case, you just need to enter your email as well as password they want to use. But if you want to use already existing account, like for example, an Apple account or a Google account, you can go ahead and just choose those. And from here, you should be able to sign up using those accounts. So in this case, I'll be using my Google account to sign up. So it's going to load YNUB here. In this case, going first, so ask us first things first, people go as YNUB. So why should we call you? So in this case, I want to say this is going to be my name. So let's just enter in here. And from here, how do you feel about finances today? So let's just say, uh, unsure, click on uh, the section here and just click on let's go. So how do you spend money on? So let's just say myself and my pet here, click on continue. So tell us about your home. So let's just say I rent and let's just click on continue. So do you currently have any debt? So in this case, uh, I want to say, uh, I want to say I don't have any debt at this moment. So how do you get around? So let's just say I'm uh, having I have a car. Let's go and continue on that. And which of these do you regularly spend on? So let's just say groceries, phone, internet, personal care, and clothing. So any everything here. Just click on continue. Now, which of the subscriptions do you have? So currently I have a TV, a TV streaming here, meal delivery and online courses here and just click on continue. And another surprise expense here. So uh, let's go and click on continue. So what are some expenses you always sneak up on you? So let's just say annual credit card fees, uh, medical expenses and uh, this one and this one. Let's go ahead and click on continue. So are you saving or paying to, uh, any of this? So let's just say I'm saving for an emergency fund here. Click on continue. So where do you want to take your money to take you? So maybe I want to say I want to uh, have video games and show me my plan here. And it's going to automatically generate a plan for you, the bills that you have and whatnot. So your plan is taking off. The next step is to add targets or a few of these expenses. So let's just click on set your first target here. And from here, you have our target price. So at one up, we want you to get a little bossy with your money. So let's go ahead and let's click on let's go. And as you can see, we now have different targets. So in this case, it's going to actually categorize any of the expenses I have. So uh, for example, for bills, it's going to be categorized under uh, the, the bill section here, which includes rent, utilities, renters, insurance, phone, internet, auto registrations, and one up. Now, in this case, um, you could go ahead and create your target. So in this case, how much do you need for rent? So let's create a target here. So maybe I want to say I need around 400 uh, for this one, last day of month, but you could choose uh, whatever day here and set aside another 400 uh, for next month if you have to. Let's go ahead and click on save target. So you could do this for every uh, type of uh, category that you have right now or expenses. So another one, so maybe I want to add utilities, create target here. 
So maybe I need around one hundred dollars and last day of month as well. And from here, let's go and click on save target. And from here, let's go and click on continue. But you can do this for any, all of the categories that you have right now. But for now, let's go and click on continue to finish this up. So what's your current balance uh, bank balance here? Once the bank account balance is added to wind up, you'll know exactly how much money you can assign to your targets and other priorities. So let's go and click on continue. So in this case, all we need to do is at the left side here, you have the add account option. Let's go and click on add account. And from here, we want to either choose one of the following. So you have links. So connect your bank and automatically import transactions. So in this case, if you have a bank account that is supported, that actually supports up here, you'll be able to uh, use them or connect them in here and all transactions will be uh, will be imported or into YNAB as well. But if you choose un unlink there, you'll be able to start your current balance and enter your own transaction. So let's go and choose unlink here. So in this case, maybe I wanna say this is going to be my savings and so it's like the account type here. I wanna choose savings and what is the current account balance? So let's just say I have around, let's just say around $4,000 here. Just click on next. And from here, it's going to say success, click on done. Now, if you want to add another account here, you can go ahead and click on add account here and you should be good. Now, the bottom section, you have your add account section. So you've added one account so far, you have a total of four dollars already assigned to your expenses. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on next step here to start assigning your money. So let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, in this case, uh, it's looked like 4,000 savings. So in this case, uh, maybe I want to say, I want to assign to expenses. So in this case, uh, for rent, I want to say, I want to assign a specific amount here. So at the very top, you have the option that says already to assign. So we have around $4,000 to assign to our current um, bills here. So in this case, maybe for rent, I want to add a 400 here since we have enough here for 4,000. So in this case, it's going to now says, uh, say that you've met your target. So in this case, uh, we are now good for this specific bill. Now, in this case, for utilities, uh, maybe this is around the budget we set assigned for this one, or the uh, target is around $100. So let's just assign 100. And as you can see, once we actually add or assign budgets here, it's going to automatically uh, deduct that on our ready to assign section. But just something really good, like for example, if you uh, want to uh, uh, just track how much money you're giving out. Also, if you click, uh, as you can see, if you click on the uh, uh, time icon here you should be able to see how much is uh, removed or added like for example I've added and removed and added again as you can see so yeah if you want to see history just click on that icon so you can do this for every of the bill they have here the needs and wants as well but yeah so once you're done you can just click on uh, I'm finished here and yeah so the great thing about YNAB here is uh, since uh, their UI is quite not the usual uh, UI that we see, the great thing about their platform is they actually teach you how to use the app itself when it, when you're actually using it. So some, that's something really cool, especially for fee people who aren't like a tech savvy or is not familiar with using financial tools. So in this case, let's go ahead and let's do this. So yeah, so in this case, the budget here, you should be able to start editing them. Like for example, uh, your uh, currently the bills that we have right now is currently utilities and rent are already funded since we actually added a $100 in this section. It's going to say funded, so cash left over. So it's going to also give you some information like in this uh, video balance here assigned this month, cash spending, credit spending, and whatnot here. Now, also, if you want to auto assign here, so assign last month, spend last month, average assign here, you could go ahead and do that as well. And also, if you want to add another account, just click on add account here. And same thing, add to choose link or unlinked. Now, if you want to view your reports, like for example, your spending totals here, this is where you will be able to see them. We have the totals here, which is in the pie chart format and the trends here. It's going to be in a uh, chart format here or the uh, graph format. Also have the network here, here for example, like how much you are approach right now. So since we are actually have 4,000 right now, this is what it's going to look like. So we also have the income versus expense here. So it's going to compare your income versus your expenses. Now, if you want to see all your accounts here, just go to all accounts and you should be able to see it. And in this case, if you want to add transactions, file import, if you want to or undo certain things like uh, removing transaction, you should be able to uh, add it in here. Like for example, maybe I want to say 
I want to uh, have my account. It's going to be the savings account that we just recently created. The date is going to be today. So let's just say the pay is uh, going to be a test. Let's just add test here. Category is maybe I want to say this is for this. Let's go ahead and just say this for ready to assign a memo. Let's go to outflow and inflow here as well. So you just need to fill out all the details here. So for inflow, I added uh, $1,000 here. Let's go and click on save. And that would actually add another amount into our account. So in this case, uh, it's now around 5,000 right now on my account. So this is where you'll be able to uh, see or add transactions into your account. So in this case, you'll be, you'll be able to add or uh, fund other things here. So yeah, so I also have the uh, categories at the top section here. If you want to see your underfunded, so overfunded, money available, or snooze, if you have those. But yeah, so those are the basic things that you need to know for YNUB, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.